As part of its commitment to do no harm to communities and their environment, the Green Climate Fund adopted environmental and social safeguards. They specify the principles and requirements that activities supported by the GCF will need to ensure that environmental and social risks and impacts are avoided or minimized and managed while undertaking actions to improve the project's outcomes. The GCF Interim Environmental and Social Safeguards follow the International Finance Corporation's performance standards on environmental and social sustainability and are composed of the following. Assessment and management of environmental and social risks and impacts. Labour and working conditions. Resource efficiency and pollution prevention. Community health, safety and security. Land acquisition and involuntary resettlement. Biodiversity conservation and sustainable management of living natural resources. Ensure full respect for indigenous peoples. Protection and preservation of cultural heritage. As part of the accreditation process, the Green Climate Fund's accreditation panel will verify whether your institution possesses the capacity, track record, as well as a management system that can robustly identify, assess and minimize adverse effects during project design and implementation. Different types of projects are associated with different degrees of environmental and social risks. A community-based adaptation project may pose less risk to the environment and livelihoods than, let's say, a large infrastructure project. The GCF is reflecting this by classifying its projects into three different risk categories. No to minimal risks, moderate risks and significant risks. During the accreditation process, the applying entity has to select the risk category for the intended projects or actions. The accreditation panel will then examine whether track record and demonstrated capacity of the applicant entity match the selected risk category. If this is not the case, another risk category can be recommended. Climate change impacts women and men differently, to the detriment of women, and is likely to exacerbate existing gender inequalities. When applying for accreditation, your entity needs to demonstrate competencies, policies and procedures for implementing the fund's gender policy. All project proposals need to include a gender assessment and a project-level gender action plan with gender performance indicators and targets disaggregated by gender. Thereby, the GCF contributes efficiently to gender equality.